Hey guys, Anthony, CertifiedLuxuryWatches.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set the date and the time on a Rolex Samarina. This particular model is a ceramic bezel 116610. Pretty standard um, positions on the crown. First thing you're going to notice is the crown should be screwed completely closed um, to, to not allow water to go inside the watch, moisture, so on and so forth. The crown just clockwise, screw it all the way down till it's hand tight. You don't need to really crank it down, just, just enough to keep it closed. Um, so you wanna counterclockwise, unscrew the crown, and it's gonna automatically pop into its first position. The first position, if you turn it clockwise, you can ever so slightly feel, it's actually gonna wind the watch. You can hear the little gears turning and it actually winding the watch. Um, that's the first position of the watch. If you turned it counterclockwise, it's just going to freely spin. There's no, there's no function if you, if you do it counterclockwise. So that's position number one. Position number two, you pull it out ever so slightly, you'll feel it click into the position. That's going to allow you to actually change the date of the watch. So as you turn it clockwise, the date's going to increase. When you set a watch... There's AM and PM. If anybody that's ever set the watch uh, incorrectly is known, they look at their watch, you look at the date and the time, you know, it could be 11 o'clock PM, and then, you know, the, the date actually doesn't change at midnight. The date should change at midnight, thus recognizing the new day. I'm going to show you how to properly set the watch up so it recognizes PM and AM. So you want to pull the crown all the way out to its third position, it's literally the last position of the watch. And you'll notice once you pull it out to the third position, you turn it clockwise and you can turn it counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. But the clockwise will allow the, the hands and the, the minute hand and the hour to go around the dial in a clockwise fashion. If you do it counterclockwise, it simply turns the hands and the minute hand counterclockwise. So you want to you wanna see first what, what setting the watch is in, if it's AM and PM and how you do that is you're gonna go once around the dial, sometimes you have to go twice. You wanna allow the hour hand to pass the 12 o'clock position. If the date does not change when you pass that, it's in the PM mode. If it changes, it was in AM and it goes to PM, if that makes sense. I, I equate it and think about it as midnight, the watch will change to the next day, 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime, it won't change the day. So knowing that this particular watch is um, just past the lunchtime 12 o'clock position, you can go ahead and set the date. So today is actually the 17th. Whenever you set the date, again, you want to push the crown all the way into its first position, ever so slightly pull it out to the first that's going to wind the watch. Second position is going to set the date. You want to set the date knowing that this watch is in um, the current mode it's in. You're going to set the date the day before the day you actually want to set it. Today again is the 17th, so you're going to set this for the 16th. So you just simply click through the dates, find the day before, which was yesterday, the 16th. Then you're going to open it all the way to its third position, and you're going to go clockwise around the dial until it changes to today's date. That's midnight. So currently it is right now, it is 1020. So we're going to go around. We're at four o'clock in the morning, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20. The watch is set to 1020 AM. You're going to push the crown back in, close it by turning it counterclockwise. You now have a watch set to the proper date and AM PM time. Hope that helps guys. Thanks for watching.